The new Master Fader 3.0 brings an impressive set of new features to DL1608 and DL806 users, including additional processing power and flexibility for an even more streamlined mixing workflow. The user interface has been significantly upgraded to provide more information at a glance and to allow for quicker access to every element of your mix. The mixer button has been replaced with three buttons, allowing you to quickly change between channel view, mixer view, and the new overview. The overview shows fader position, level, and dynamics meters, as well as mute and solo status for every input and output. This is a great place to live while mixing, so you can keep tabs on everything at once. Need to make an adjustment? Just touch the input or output channel, and you'll instantly be taken to the channel view where you can make your change. Use these three buttons to zoom around the mixer to adjust individual channel settings, a specific output mix, or view everything at once. The right side of the mixer view has been expanded and now includes selectors for mute groups, mix, view groups, and the new masters. Mute groups are easily changed by name and channels can be quickly assigned. The mix selector clearly indicates the selected mix and output channel names now appear. And with improved color coding, you can be confident you're making adjustments to the correct mix. View groups modify the channels you are viewing and can be custom named and easily assigned. The master selector gets you quickly to your master output channels, letting you view just auxes, groups, or all the master channels at once. Use all four selectors together to focus only on the channels you need to adjust now without having to scroll through those you don't. In addition to the navigation and channel view improvements, Master Fader 3.0 adds four subgroups and four VCAs for improved organization and control over groups of channels. Selecting sub one in the mix selector brings up the submaster. Touch the new output routing button at the top of the strip, then assign the input channels you'd like routed to the subgroup. Here you can also assign the subgroup to the main mix or to the VCAs, mute, and view groups. When you switch back to mixer view, you now see the input channels assigned to the subgroup. Each subgroup has mute, solo, and pan controls, plus a four-band parametric EQ and compressor. Of course, subgroups can easily be stereo linked, giving you control over a select group of inputs while preserving their stereo image in your PA. Assigning channels to a VCA is similar. Select VCA1, then touch the output routing button and select the channels you'd like to control with the VCA. Once assignments are made, Quickly access the different groups via the master selector to mute, solo, and mix these groups of channels. Each channel strip has been updated to show even more information. The top button opens the input routing view where you can assign the selected channel to the various outputs and groups. Here you also have access to the aux and effects send levels and mutes. Plus, we've added a digital trim control which comes in handy when mixing wirelessly. Input channels now have separate gate and compressor meters, and touching the routing, EQ, or gate and compressor buttons on any channel takes you straight to those controls and channel view. Channels can be color-coded for easier identification, and when a channel is selected, its color is displayed in the current parameter readout at the top of the navigation bar. Custom output colors are used in the mix selector as well. The quick access panel has been updated to include controls for the headphone monitor output, Fine-tune the level remotely and use the new delay feature to time-align your headphones or monitors with the output of the PA. iPad recording functions have been consolidated under the new recording button, where you can set sample rate and bit depth, independently adjust left and right record levels, and start and stop recording on the docked iPad. Plus, in the new I.O. patch view, you can now choose the source channels for your iPad recording, including subgroups and aux ends, letting you capture a dedicated mix for recording instead of just the main mix. Show and snapshot management has been improved. The Shows button now indicates the number and name of the most recently recalled snapshot, as well as if any mixer settings have changed since the snapshot was recalled. The current show view now indicates dates for when the show was created and when it was last modified. Plus, a new notes field helps you keep things organized. Storing and recalling presets is now more intuitive. Channel presets are now accessed via the Channel ID button with an improved workflow, making it easy to audition and find the perfect preset. The same improvements have been applied to presets for the individual EQ, dynamics, and effects processors, 
which are now accessed from a button right next to the processor they are affecting. Presets, shows, and even the entire system can be shared and backed up via email, Dropbox, and iTunes. Simply export a show, give it a name and a description, and send it off via email. Then, on your band member's iPad, simply select the email, open the attachment, and import the show. You can do the same thing with channel and individual processor presets as well. Lastly, Master Fader 3.0 includes support for our all-new DL32R model, which includes all of these enhancements you just saw and even more. So in your spare time, be sure to check it out via the offline mode in the devices view. Version 3.0 of Master Fader is a free update for DL1608 and DL806 users and is available now on the App Store.